So this is the animation that we're going to see how to create in this video. Right click and create a new timeline. Unselect use project settings, go over to format and use vertical resolution. Now let's drag in our fusion composition. Right click and change the clip duration to 2 over here. Now right click, go over to fusion page and drag in your background. Connect the background to the media out. and Let's go ahead, drag in our text, connect the text with the background. And I'm just going to copy some text over here. So you can just go ahead, select any text that you want. Make sure this is at edge anchor and just slightly move this in so that this is in the center. Now let's change the font to Montserrat. This is the one that I'm using. Add bold. Now I'm also going, going to go over to the layout and let's change the X to 0.047. Now let's head back to text and from here, I'm going to change the color to this color code. Now make sure you are at zero keyframes, go over to write on and create a keyframe, but change the end to 0 0.6. And now let's go over to five frames and change this all the way to one. So this is how it will look. Now once again in the text, go over to five fifth keyframe over here and create a keyframe at size at 0 0.08. Now let's go over to 6 frames and change this to 0 0.3, move 1 keyframe ahead. At 7, let's change the size to 0 0.4. Then at 8 keyframes, let's change this to 0 0.5. And then at 9, we're going to move this out of the screen, so I'm just going to change this to 7. And this is how it will look. Now while you have your text selected, press Ctrl space and search for blur let's go ahead change this to seven and make sure you select your blur once again and press control space and this side search for radial blur and we're going to change this to 0 0.45 so if you see this this is how it will look all right now let's go ahead add in another merge and this time i'm going to drag in this multi poly and also let's drag in this background and i'm going to change the color to this color code let's connect the multi poly to the background and the background to the merge and over here we have we already have this polygon one so we just need to draw this what you can do is just simply drag this and randomly draw any line that you want something like this and let's also connect this at the end like this and over here, you will see that we have the option. So unselect solid and change the border width to 0 0.01. So if you see this, this is how it will look. Now, of course, you can always go back over here and change this. Make sure you select this. And you can always change the settings from here. Like this. This one over here, we already have this done. I'm going to add a few more. So Right now, I'm just going to go with three polygons. So let's go ahead, add in another one and make sure you select your multi poly. And from here, we're going to change, or you can say create something, some different shape this time. Once again, unselect solid and change the border width to 0 0.01. And once again, I'm going to add another polygon. And this time, this is going to be slightly different. And this is random. You can go ahead and do this however you want this to be. And of course, you can add more polygon lines. I'm just going with three for now. But you can go ahead and add in more. So right now, we have three of them done. Now what we're going to do is create some keyframes. So make sure you are at the fifth keyframe. And from here, first of all, let's go over to multi-poly. And I'm going to hide all of them. So change the level for all of them like this. And the first one, the first polygon we have, just create a keyframe at level, then move one frame ahead and change this to one. Then go one frame ahead and change this back to zero. Now let's go two frames ahead and do the same thing for this polygon. First of all, create a keyframe at level, then at 10, move this in, 11, move this out. And then at 13, I'm going to do the same thing for this polygon three. Add this in. Go over here, 
pull this out and one last final thing is with this polygon one so you can just go ahead select any one of them the process is the same so here we are done so let me just play this for you you will see that this is the kind of animation that we will get all right now select your merge tool and click on this multi merge and over here we're going to drag in a text and let's connect the text with the multi merge now over here i'm going to just simply type in this text and the font that i'm using will be montserrat at bold and the size will be 0.15 right so now let's go over to five frames and over here i'm going to create a keyframe at right on and let's change this to 0.4 create a keyframe and then go over to 10 frames and change this to one now also go over to the opacity by going over to shading and from here go over at zero frames create a keyframe at opacity at zero and then at five change this to one now let's go ahead add in a rectangle so first of all let me drag in this background and change the color to yellow then let's drag in this rectangle connect them like this now over here at this rectangle let's go over to 12 frames over here create a keyframe at center and width let's change the center to 0 0.25 and change the y for this to 0 0.45 let's also change the width to zero and now let's go over to 20 frames and let's change the x over here to 0 0.5 and y over here to 0 0.4 and let's also change the width to 0 0.5 and let's also change the height to 0 0.06 all right now let me just align this so go over to text 2 you can just slightly move this down and now let's go ahead add in another text so drag in this text connect it with the multi merge and let's type in the font that i'm using will be monserrat but this time this will be at black and let me also change the color to black and let's move this right here and let's change the size to 0 0.16 so this fits in nicely now once again i'm going to go over to text 2 and slightly move this down so that this fits in now i'm going to drag in this rectangle connected with the merge text 3 and over here i'm going to change the soft edge to 0 0.1 now let's go over at 12 frames create a keyframe at center and change the x to minus 0 0.1 and the y to 0 0.5 now let's go all the way to 20 change the center to 0 0.5 so this is how it will look over here in the rectangle 2 i'm going to change the width to 0 0.6 so if you play this this is how it will look now in the multi merge go over at 29 frames and create a keyframe add blend for all of these like this and over at 30 let's just change this to zero like this all right now let's add in a merge node and i'm also going to add this paper image that i have let's connect it with the well, first of all, let me just drag in this image plane 3D, connect this image plane with the image plane 3D and select your image plane 3D and also click on this merge 3D. And finally, with the merge 3D, we're going to press control space and search for render 3D. And let me just connect this. All right. So this is how it looks. So go over to image plane 3D and over here, we're going to create some keyframes. So let's start with 20, go over to transform and create a keyframe at X, then add Z, over here at Y and then add Z. Now over here, change the X to minus one, keep the Y at zero, 
change the z to or keep the z at zero as well change the x over here in the rotation to minus 18 the y to minus 26 and the z to 2.6 now let's go over to 21 keyframes the 21st keyframe and over here we're going to change the x to minus 0 0.33 and change the y to 40 and z to 145. Now let's go over to 22 and change the x over here to minus 0 0.1. Then go over at 23 frames and create a keyframe or change the z to change the z to 1. And then at 24, change the Z to 2.3. So if you play this, this is how it looks. And now I'm going to add this paper once again. And let's add in this image plane 3D once again. Connect this with the image plane 3D and the image plane 3D with the merge 3D. Now go over to image plane 3D and over here in the transform, go over to 25 frames over here and create a keyframe at x and change this to minus 0 0.6 then go all the way to 30 frames and change this to 6 and this is how it looks at the moment one thing we need to also change is the z so change this to 1.5 change the color to this color code and Okay, so let me just adjust this. Let me first of all change the Z and see where this is fitting in. So over here you can see this is where our Z comes in. So let's move this right here. And you can see this is how it looks. So basically at 25, we need to be right here somewhere. And let me just delete this keyframe and go over to 30 and see where this is coming in. All right, so this looks fine over here. Right. And let me just slightly move this a little faster. So I would say 1.5. Perfect. Now we're also going to add some more effects. So make sure you select your render 3D, press control space and search for radial blur. And from here, we're going to change this to 0 0.5. So you can see this is how it looks. All right, and now I'm going to add another multi-merge. And for this one, I'm also going to drag in another image like this let's connect this and for this one we're also going to add some effects so make sure you select your image press control space first of all let's search for this i'm going to keep everything as it is now let's also add in another effect press control space and search for zoom blur and for this one we're going to change this to 0 0.3 and let's add in another effect press control space search for camera shake and let's add in this camera shake right here and i'm just going to change this to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 all right and now let's also add in a transform node and change the size to 2.2 so that this fits in the screen so Okay, so I'm going to go over to the camera shake and let's decrease the X and Y deviation. Okay, let me just zoom this in a little bit more so that this doesn't affect our image. But we don't need a lot of shake, we just need a slight shake. So this will work fine, I guess. All right, so this works for me. And now I'm going to add in this text and Let's change the font, Montserrat, and let's connect this right here. 
All right, so over here at 29, where we had this fading out, as you can see, we had all of the previous text fading out at 29 to 30. We're going to fade this in at 29 to 30. So go over to this multi merge at media in three, create a keyframe at blend at zero, and then at 30, change this to one. Do the same thing for this one as well the text and at 30 let's move this in and if you play this this is how it will look okay so here you can see this is where the animation is ending so we might need to move this back so at 27 let's create keyframe for both of these then at 28 we're going to move this in and now you can delete the one we created later on so if you play this this is how it looks so this is, this is a nice transition that you can get and finally i'm just going to do a little bit effects for the text so let's say at 29 create a keyframe at color and font let's change the color to black and First of all, let's keep this at white. Go over to 30 again. Let's now change the color to black. And also let's change this to light. Then at 31, let's change this to medium. 32, let's change this to bold. 33, let's move this back to, or let's change this to regular. And then at 34, let's change this to bold once again and finally at 33 i'm going to change this back to white so this is just a random effect and here you can see this is how it looks at the end so this is it for this video i hope you found this video useful and i will see you in the next one